Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of how to make a mod in Tmod Loader 1.4. In this episode we're going to be covering how to create accessories as well as some vanity items. Now the way this video has been done is a bit different from others due to how OBS corrupted the video files multiple times which hasn't been fun. So we're going to be using stills and I'm going to be going through each line that's important as we go through. So first up, we're going to be doing accessories. We're going to be creating a stat accessory. We're going to be creating a shoe accessory. So we're going to have a texture for that. And then we're going to be creating some wings. Then we're going to be doing two vanity items. We're going to do a basic shirt vanity item. And then we're going to do some robes, which are going to cover the torso and legs. First up is the stat accessory item. For this, you're going to want to extend mod item and then do the usual set static defaults with the creative catalog. And then in set defaults, you can set the usual item width and height, rarity, value, and so on. But the important thing for accessories is making sure you have item.accessory equals true. In order to give our accessory some abilities, we're going to override update accessory. And in this, you can have the stuff we covered in the armors video. You can have player dot move speed, player dot max minions, player dot stat, max, and so on. But for this, we're going to be covering the damage classes. First up, we got player dot get damage. And for this, you need to pass in a damage class. For this, we are passing in damage class dot generic. Then you need to give it a value that you're going to increase it by. This is going to be a percentage. And we're going to increase it by 25% by doing 0.25. If you wanted to do 100%, you'd do 1F. If you wanted to do 200%, you could do 2F and so on and so forth. Next up, we have player.get crit chance. This will allow us to modify the crit rate of our item. For this, we're going to be passing in the melee class, that's damage class.melee. And we're going to increase it by 20 points. You do this by doing plus equals 20F. You're not increasing by a percentage, but rather a flat rate. Next up, we have player.get knockback. Again, passing a damage class. We're going to be using damage class.melee. And then you want to do plus equals, and then you want to pass in a percentage. In this case, you're doing 0.5F, as we're going to be increasing the knockback rate of our weapon by 50%. Next, we have player.get attack speed, and we're going to be passing in the ranged damage class. The attack speed value determines how fast you can swing a sword or how fast you will shoot an arrow, and so on and so forth. In this case, we're going to be increasing our ranged attack speed by 50%. We do this by doing plus equals 0.5f. Finally, we have Player.get armor penetration. And for this, we're going to be passing in the magic damage class. Armor penetration is a flat rate, much like get crit chances. So we're going to be increasing this by five points. So that covers the stat item. So next, let's move on to creating our shoe accessory. The most important part for the shoe accessory is auto load equip, equip type dot shoes. Everything else remains the same. We have item dot accessory set to true, and then I've got the player dot move speed being multiplied by 1.5f. With auto load equip, we need to make sure that we have the correct texture to go with shoes. So for this, we'll have tutorial shoe accessory underscore shoes. With the shoe accessory completed, let's move on to creating a set of wings. So for our tutorial wings, we want to make sure we have auto load equip equip type dot wings set. We also want to override the set static defaults and ensure that we have using terraria.id ready so we can access armor IDs dot wings dot sets dot stats of item dot wing slot. Then do equals new wing stats. Then you pass in a fly time. So I've got one, two, five fly speed override. I've got four F and an acceleration multiplier. I've got one point two five F. Fly time determines how long you can fly for, while the fly speed override determines how fast you'll move while flying, 
And then the acceleration multiplier determines how much acceleration is applied. The next thing we want to do is override vertical wing speeds. This takes in a player, a reference float for ascent when falling, a reference float for ascent when rising, a reference float for max can ascent multiplier, a reference float to max ascent multiplier, and a reference float for const ascend. Each of these values determines what happens when you are either flying up or falling back to the ground. You want to play around with these values to find something that best suits you as there is no perfect way to determine what you want for this. All of these will have default values already set so some of them you might not want to change but others you can. You're just changing the value of the existing references rather than setting them all from scratch. Because we're using auto load equip, equip type dot wings, we need to ensure we have a wings texture that will be applied to the player. The wings texture I've put on screen so you can see what it looks like. There will also be a example on the source code so you can check that out. And with that, we have done all three of our accessories. So now we're going to move on to creating some vanity items. Like with our accessory shoes and wings, we also need to have an auto load equip, equip type. For this. In this case we're doing equip type dot body because we're making a vanity shirt. While everything else can be left the same, the important part you need to add is item dot vanity to the set defaults. Item dot vanity, much like item dot accessory, tells Terraria which slot this item can go in. In this case it can only go into one of the vanity slots and because it's an equip type of body it can only go into the body vanity slot. There are some cases where you might want to have multiple slots used. So for example with robes you could have body and legs. So let's go over and create a vanity robe set. So like with our vanity shirt we have auto load equip of equip type dot body. We also have item dot vanity set in the set defaults. But because we want to make sure we also fill the leg slot we want to do a few different things. So first we want to override the load method. In the load method we're going to be loading in the new equip texture for the equip type of legs. However it's very important to make sure that this is only running on the client side. So we do if main.net mode is equal to netmode id dot server and then we just return to make sure that the code does not continue to run. Now we need to load in the actual leg texture. To do this we do equip loader dot add equip texture and then we pass in a few different parameters. First we pass in the mod which is the mod we're using. We then pass in the string that is related to the texture file name. In this case we're going to be doing texture underscore legs. So this will be tutorial vanity robes underscore legs. We then pass in the equip type, which is equip type dot legs. And then we need to tell it what item this is equipping to. And for that, we just do this. Now we have loaded in the texture, we need to apply it to the player. We do this by overriding the set match method. This takes in a ball of mail, a reference int to the equip slot, and a reference ball to say if it's robes or not. Because we are creating some vanity robes, robes needs to be true so we do robes equals true. Then we do equip slot equals equip loader dot git equip slot and then we pass in the parameters of mod to say it's this mod that we are using. We then pass in name to give it the name of the texture and then we pass in the equip type that is being filled. So in this case equip type dot legs. So with that we now have three accessories created and two vanity items created. So let's go take a look at what these look inside Terraria. So now that we're in Terraria, let's take a look at how each of the accessories works as well as take a look at how the vanity item looks on the player. So in my inventory, I have the Light's Bane, Demon Scythe, a Cobalt Repeater and the Raven Staff. If we take a look at the damage, these are their default values. Let's take a look at their crit rate uh, use speed and their knockback. 
as you can see with the light spring, we have average knockback, 4% crit chance. With Demon Scythe, we have 4% crit chance, average knockback. Uh, Repeater has fast speed. And then the Raven Staff has weak knockback, uses 10 mana, and so on. So let's equip our stat item. And if we take a look at this now, we have 22 melee damage, 24% crit chance and very strong knockback whereas our demon's life stays with 4% crit chance and an average knockback despite our 50% increase in speed our cobalt repeater still has fast speed but we'll see them in action so using the uh, repeater you'll see issues quite fast if compared to when we don't have the accessory equipped so there is a noticeable difference damage and uh, crit chance and everything will be increased let's spawn in some enemies let's enable that and then I'll just increase the spawn rate and if we walk around we'll hopefully find some slimes I'll just increase it to 30 okay here's a slime dealing 25 damage 44 damage crit 21, 21, 44 crit compared to without these. Okay, we've got an army coming now, so I'm just going to lower the rate. As you can see, we're dealing 16 damage with these and not getting as much crit rate. Um, what did I do for? Range of weapons I've shown, and I can't see. And then armor penetration will, I don't think will show very well with slimes, but there is some increased damage. So now let's take a look at the um, shoe accessory, just disable spawns. Let's remove that and now if we put the shoe accessory on you'll see that it is on our feet and we are moving much faster and of course you can hide the visibility of it then we have the wings which as you can see they show on the back let me zoom out we can fly up we fly for a bit and we slowly come down we can see the settings we've put in now let's take a look at the vanity items as you can see I've got gold chainmail and gold greaves on if I put on the vanity shirt you can see that it takes place of the gold chainmail I can't put it in any of the other slots I can put it in the torso slot if I wish, but it will not do anything. And then with the tutorial robe, I could put it in the torso slot. As you can see, it's also put on the leg texture. Even if I have greaves on the leg texture, you cannot see them. However, if I have owl boots or the Hermes boots or something, you'll see that there is the accessory textures that still show. So that's going to do it for this video. We now have the ability to create accessories and vanity items. You can do a lot more than what I've shown in this video. In the next video, we're going to be covering how to create some more advanced tiles and using them as crafting stations. And then 
from there will be showing how to create uh, an item using our custom recipe, uh, using our custom tile in a recipe. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Sorry this video has been a bit uh, different than usual. But until the next one, thank you for watching and goodbye.